Hello guys, welcome and welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about SQL templating. So what is SQL templating and why it is used? SQL templating is used to create advanced query or dynamic query. For example, if you want to inject some filter, some value or even you have something in query parameter, you want to use that or you want to use the user's email ID for filtering criteria for identifying his roles. So for these kind of scenarios, we are using SQL templating. There can be additional uh, usage. There can be, you can have some other usage as, as well, but this is mainly I'm going to focus in this video. To enable SQL templating or uh, to use ginger templates or whatever you want, you first have to enable this feature flag called as enable template processing. In superset config.py, you just have to find these feature flags uh, variable where you are just passing your existing old uh, temp old feature flags and then add this specific line or if you don't have it then just copy this code paste it and then remove this line anyway it is commented so you can use it but better to remove it now let's discuss about the usage of these sql templates so i am going to preset this is nothing but superset in cloud so it's much easier for me to demo here instead of having it running on server then connecting and so on so better I, I started just using this for these kind of demos for others i'm still going to use local docker based or whatever we want so here if you see i'm running the query it is running but here you will see there is an additional where clause so we have one where clause which one equal to one and an additional where clause so let me explain this query we have a city filtered data inside that i am selecting some data from flights where one equal to one and then we have this sql template where what we are going to do is let me open the dashboard here you can see there is a state filter so what it is going to do it is going to use all the values that we selected in state filter convert it into where in clause style uh, comma separated values and then pass it to here i'll show you in the query once we run this query this is nothing but we are checking if the filter is applied if we remove this we will not be able to run this in sql lab because it will always look for these values and if it is not available it is going to fail so that's why and one more thing if you have noticed it that i have changed the state to st so that I don't want this filter condition to be applied in this specific table. I want to show that this specific condition is only getting applied in inner query and not the outer query. Why this is the case? Because these states is not available in this query, which is outer query, where we have states, there is a S and here we just have state. So let me copy this, go to the data set and let me unlock it paste it here let me remove this i don't want to uh, confuse save it and let's go to the report let me refresh it here this filter is i believe single value we don't want that right? we want it to be multi-value so what i'm going to do i'm going to select can have multiple value can select multiple value and then before we execute let me just show you the query view query here you can see we have everything but that specific part is missing from here why because we don't have any filter so that if condition validated if we have anything and that's why we have this where one equal to one in case we don't have what i can do is add that where clause here but then other things can happen that's why safe to add these things because when we have more than one clause then where to add where clause and so on that might be the issue so that's why i added just where one equal to one then let me select states one two three i'm just selecting few states apply the filter and now if i view the query you can see and states in AK, AL and AS. So these values, whatever we selected here are now here and in proper in clause kind of uh, format. And one more thing that you might have noticed that there is no where clause. So usually when you query it with the same table, you will see these filter applied here. Now one more thing I want to add is these state filter is coming from a different table. 
kind of a dimension and I am just using these tables as fact so trying to create something like a fact dimension kind of uh, architecture in superset which is not directly supported but that's why that's what we are trying to mimic here so this is what where we want it to be let me close it now if we want to have just a single value instead of having in clause so in that scenario what i can do i can just comment it uncomment the next part and again i'm going to run it before just we update the data set just to be sure here what we are doing is again same thing we are going to use filter values of state and then we are using zeroth item so nothing fancy just a single element we are getting we are selecting from that array so let me uncheck it unlock it remove the part that we don't want to prevent the confusion that we might have when we save it save okay now let me refresh this now even if i have three things selected if you see this query you will see that state is equal to ak so it selected the first value now to i don't want this kind of mess so i'm just going to go ahead and select uncheck this thing so to just have one now again let me just view the query now there is no filter applied there is nothing that is it is just showing the commented part equal to clause so let me select one now i cannot select any other value let me apply the filter and now we have this thing applied so these are something but very important things where we have filter values we can just directly use filter values and then the column name that we we have and then use it now there is one more thing that is date filter same scenario i am just going to consider same scenario we have in our query and i want to have it a day uh, i want to have a date filter let me keep it as it is i am going to remove this specific part or let it be i am going to uncomment this so i am going to keep state as well as this just to show how it should be run it i selected i think it is going to give me error yeah so let me copy it again go to the data set paste it unlock paste it here remove about part save it okay go to data set and let's replace it now again if we view the query we just have this specific filter applied state equal to ca let's see the data that we have it's 2015 it's so let's select custom and specific date 2015 maybe me is fine and 202015 uh, probably july i don't know if we have complete year data let's apply and check no data let's change it to one oops probably now we will see some data now we have some data now let me view the query here you can see it added the specific condition now you can see it is picking exactly the same data as of this and again there is no where clause applied to the outer query now here we are controlling the filter and where clause we want it to be instead of superset comparing and just adding some kind of filters at the end of the query this will improve your query performance and if you want to do some kind of customization for example here i will show you how i achieved one specific thing we will come to that shortly this is one way of doing it let's go back to the documentation so this is another thing that i was discussing about we will come to that at the end now there is another way of doing these kind of things they call it macros and here we have some default function specified what they do i have already described but if i run it you will be it will be easy for you to understand there is nothing complicated or nothing fancy here let me do it here run you can see it is showing 
current user that is my user id i am having user id 2 my email id what roles are assigned to me now you can see i have printed it as json so it is that is why it is assigning or showing it as a array kind of thing this is how we are going to use macros if you want to filter using user id email so basically when users have to have some kind of row level security to the data we can just use this in the query while creating a data set and they, the user will not be able to alter it and he will be able to fix so you will be able to fix it this is one way of doing it then again for role then the next way is where is okay so the next way is using url parameters so what i am going to do i am going to select it here you will see there won't be anything it's showing it is going to show you none why there is no parameter passed to this url so let me pass a parameter uh, parameter is user equal to i am going to pass my name so now let it refresh now there is a parameter if i select it you can see my name is getting printed here i should call it user not my name now you can see it it selected user and this is how it is now when this is can be useful when you have embedded this specific uh, dashboard you have this query running and you want to filter some kind of things using the url parameters in embed sdk we have a specific thing where you can just add url parameters and then using that url parameters you can superset will use that parameter to pass it to the query once you pass it to the query then it will filter it using this kind of thing or you can select it this is how it is and that's how you can use url parameter even while redirecting to the so you are redirecting from another website to the super set and you want some pre filters applied to the query and so on so that's how this can be used now let's move to the last part which is uh, this specific thing i was talking about now let me select it let me go back here now you can see if i highlight it is going to select the right hand side dashboard i want to see the flights which are delayed more than 6 days if i apply this filter you can see it has filtered everything if i sort it what is okay if i sort it you can see minimum is 6 if i move it here to 3 you can see we have 5 we have 3 so how i am going to achieve this for that there are multiple things i did one is the filter condition i have this time i am not creating anything in the data set or query what i am doing i have just used a where clause in the filters and i am passing this specific thing i will explain you so average arrival delay this is something that we calculated or we have it in the query and we are using filter values of days and its zeroth position so basically what we are passing we are passing it same thing same concept nothing fancy same concept this thing we are just passing it in the where clause it is just selecting where it is it is just selecting that specific duration that we have applied and then if we apply the filter it should filter according to the delay that we have specified now i have specified for you it has just added that where clause let me view the query now this time this where clause is applied by superset we are not working on this part so you can see now it is added at the end of the outer query and that is the correct position where it should be this is because we have added it here in in the chart so that's it for this video if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye